All right, it's the first of the month. I am starting it off strong December with a deadlift day. And then after that, I'm going to put myself through the marvels because my mom wanted to see it and because her and I saw the first Captain Marvel together and I did take pictures of it because everyone was talking about how there were a bunch of seats bought out but nobody showed up. Well, that was exactly what happened with us. There was an entire row bought out and when we got there, I took the picture of the place. There's nobody there. And yeah, so that's how we're starting off strong. Starting off with a little bit of physical and mental. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to drive, head up to the house because we've got Christmas decorations to put up as well as final house prep and then new employee meeting assuming that I can get this veil uh, you know background check stuff sorted who knows what's going on with the system but of course my stuff doesn't work and you know if it comes to it I've got some you know stuff that hopefully but I mean <laughs> I don't want to say I've tried everything because I haven't tried everything because I don't want to give uh, you know, access to certain stuff, you know, right? And I've already given up like everything and it's like all of this just to work minimum wage, bro. It's like, I'd rather just uh, not need to do all of this, you know? And so we'll see how it goes because <laughs> I really, you know, I really don't want to have to, you know, give up you know, all, you know, my, like, the, like, you know, this is the kind of stuff, these, like, tricks, because, again, this is all gray area stuff when it comes to being hired, when it comes to different forms, different things you, on your computer, etc., stuff like that, right? You know, like, this is all stuff that, like, you know, maybe if this was, like, a $150,000 a year biopharmaceutical job or something, right? You know, like, something crazy, it's like, okay, for that, maybe I could compromise, certain aspects of different you know things like you know but again that's like you know something i would be willing you know if i'm going to do that if i am gonna push my morals possibly break you know certain parts of it you know like if i'm going to however i'm trying to rationalize it you know whatever that right i'm gonna make sure it's it ain't fucking for a minimum fucking wage job bro you know and let alone uh rather thankless one and one that if it wasn't for just passion and love very few people would want to do right and you know so I mean but again that's but that's why I do it that's why I because I fucking love this so we'll see you know if it's really worth doing that or if it's you know a sign that okay you know like do you really want to have to is it worth it going through all this or is it just you know time to just you know work nearby at a place that doesn't require you to go through this or, or you know do that so anyway that's i am now at the gym that's the update time to go and deadlift a baby assuming i can actually freaking park this bitch There we go. All right, deadlift time. So I had just finished up college and I was still kind of in that, oh, I live in a small town. Oh, I, or in a college town. I could just do whatever I want with people because I can just make it there whenever I want to make it, do whatever I want to go do, right? Not saying that's an excuse, just trying to kind of give some context because what got it got to the point where I was going shooting with my dad on Wednesdays and my dad doesn't have a cell phone and the people he was shooting with don't have cell phones either. So it was really big time, you know, if I, I told him the morning or I'm sorry, told him the night before, you know, hey, I'm going to go shooting. And then, 
you know, fast forward, you know, eight hours later and I'd wake up and I'd just decide, oh, I'm not feeling it today. I'm just like not feeling it, you know, and granted, you know, some, you know, some, some, sometimes, you know, I was sick. Sometimes, you know, I, I genuinely was feeling ill or, you know, something happened, but the fact, the, the point is, is that it was on me, right? You know, end of the day, the buck, you know, was cashed with me. And it got to the point where, you know, and my dad, you know, pays for my shells, you know, pays for me to go shoot and all of this stuff, you know. And he has to do that before people can go out. And it's all like done in this system. So he would tell the people that were working there like oh yeah my son's coming don't worry you know sign him up and then you know he's going to be joining us but then I'd never show up and he never knew because he didn't have a cell phone and it got to the point where he didn't like scream at me like crazy but he snapped a bit and he was like look if you're not going to fucking be a man of your word just don't fucking come it's better for everybody that you just stop and that was for me the point where, well, not the, like, T-H-E, the point, but it was definitely one of the larger or more important moments in my life where it was like, it snapped me out of it. It was like, you know, obviously my dad loves me. Obviously my dad enjoys spending time with me, right? But it had gotten to the point where it wasn't even worth it for him. And, you know, thankfully he told me that communicated that to me and so I could you know change my behavior but that was you know imagine how many times I had to flake on my dad imagine how many times he I had to do so for, for him to finally get to that point and then at that point he didn't even cut me off completely he gave me a last chance you know and that was really what had you know clicked in my mind as it was like oh shit I really fucked up if, you know, because dad really likes shooting. I mean, really likes shooting. And since then, ever since then, I haven't missed a single shoot. Uh, and I've missed, you know, timing on other stuff. Obviously, it's not like I was like, you know, the, now I'm the best timekeeper and the most organized person in the universe. But that was just a moment for me, you know. Uh, so just when we talk about flanking, talk about or flaking, talk about inviting you or not coming or anything like that, you know, <laughs> it ain't that bad, brother, you know, so I'll send out as many invites as possible, and I will let you know at, if it's ever gotten that bad, but, you know, that's just some, some context for how bad it had to get in my life for me to finally make that fucking decision, you know, so, anyway, love you, I gotta drive, smoke grassy dash. Be excellent to each other. This one's for Cheesy Dips. Deuces. Love you, bro. Good morning, Cheesy Dip. Another special video for Cheesy Dips, and I don't know why I'm recording it as if I'm going to be uploading it for everybody else to see. It's going on YouTube, but it's just going to be for you, Cheesy, so I don't know why I'm doing a YouTube tutorial. But anyway, I can't stop myself. So, the update, the reason I'm making this video is because it is officially the day after I sent you all of that message and sent you this little rant and talked about, you know, accountability and holding yourself responsible and et cetera and all this stuff, right? And so I just wanted to give you another real life example because a real life example has presented itself right now. So currently I am in the car on the way up to uh, my parents' cabin where I stay uh, during the winter for ski season stuff because I'm going to be working, hopefully, at the mountain as a ski instructor. However, that's possibly not the case, but we're not going to try to stress ourselves out because right now I was supposed to be there already 12 minutes ago. I was supposed to be there with my skis and my gear all on and ready to go, and it's currently... <laughs> not gonna happen right and uh so part of that is uh partially their fault for sure you know there's definitely some stuff on their end that caused a slowdown right in this case specifically i had to do a background check before i could uh come to today's training that i'm already late for and 
the background check for whatever reason, my driver's license address just wasn't in the system. So I've been going back and forth with customer support for Vail trying to get this fucking solved. They gave me a phone number for customer support. That doesn't work. I can't make this shit up. I called the fucking customer support number. Hello, this is Verizon. The number that you're trying to reach is no longer available. What? <laughs> what? So, okay, granted, I've been fucked with a little bit, right? However, however, I can't sit here and pretend like there wasn't ways for me to be on top of my shit so much easier. Like, I, don't get me wrong, my mom's got breast cancer, my dad having a heart palpitations and shit. Those are important and they're important people in my life, right? But let's not pretend that I didn't choose to spend time with them over choosing to sit in front of my laptop and refresh my emails every five seconds. And so now, because I know this video is a little long to get to the point, the reason why I wanted to tell you about all this stuff and let you know how this is going today is because there is part of me that this morning I was in the house, not in the car, and I was like screaming at myself, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm so fucked. God fucking damn it. This always happens. Luke fucking A. Why didn't you just fuck fucking God fuck? You know, and I laid into myself this morning, right? And then I realized, wait, bro, even if I am fucking 15 minutes late now at this point, right? The mountain doesn't fucking open for another 45 minutes. And after all of that, they still have to get everybody all organized and everything like this. Because I have been there for one of these ITCs in the past, uh, instructor training course, right? And so I was like, wait, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's stop fucking screaming. Let's just get everything in the car, get everything as much as we can get, and let's just fucking get on the road. And so now, because there is another... ITC instructor training course and I might not be available for this one but it doesn't matter because the background check that I finally got fixed and solved yesterday last night right even if I had done that background check last night and got it done ASAP they would not have been able to process it because it's the weekend so there's nothing I, I would have been able to do even if I had done it all fucking the way that I had done it. And regardless, I would have had to drive here today to get all of my gear and get everything all set up and drop stuff off at the house and whatever, all this, you know, other stuff. So the point is, is that, you know, I had this morning a situation that could have easily been real fucking negative and I could have really beaten into myself, right? And instead, I just got it all to fucking together, fucking started it, got out, did what I had to do, and it turns out, oh, well, okay, you know, it might not be exactly how I planned out, you know, getting it all done, but I've still got three weeks before my actual job starts, I still have plenty of ITCs to, available before my job starts. I need to get all this stuff done. Anyway, so it's just, you know, it, it's just uh, it's just something where, again, this is just to get the, the, uh, the big reason that I'm, you know, making this video for you. And this is it. I'm done. Sorry it took so long. Is that, you know, this is like... Obviously, I don't want this to happen every day, right? But, you know, stuff like this happens once a week, you know, or so. And, you know, it's just a matter of, okay, let's bring it back. Remember for a second. Because I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, fuck, I missed everything. And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, this is all like 8 o'clock in the morning. 
the mountain literally doesn't even open the chair lifts until 8.45 earliest, 9 o'clock earliest. And then I found out, because I got the email while I was driving, that it doesn't matter. There's nothing they could do, and we'll just set it up for later, and we'll just get me on the schedule later. So it's just like, oh, all that was just for nothing. It's all just going to work out. It's just going to be a little bit different time frame, but who cares? Because honestly, it's going to be probably a little nice because I'll get one-on-one in-person training instead of this huge group training, which again, some people might be better. It might be better to be in the group where you could just kind of hit and stay in the back and pretend like you're not there and you know, you don't have to really like, you know, but I'm more of a personal in-person. That's what keeps me going, especially if I'm going to be doing all these bullshit little skiing things. I don't want to be in a big group because it's just fucking brain dead for me at this. Not saying I'm like hot shit skier, but I'm definitely better than like, you know, the required level for this kind of stuff. So, you know, having the in-person training to be able to do it is what is work personally what works out better for me anyway. So that's it. All right. Thanks for watching so long. Jesus Christ this way twice as long as last video. All right. Smoke grass, eat ass, deuces. Love you. Have a great day. All right. Good morning, nerds. It is officially December 2nd. Who knows how long I'll be able to keep this up. I kind of like the idea of at least doing one a day. You know, who knows, hopefully more. But uh, so today, December 2nd, 2023, and we are headed up the mountain to get a bunch of ski stuff together, get a bunch of different stuff together, and hopefully do a little bit of skiing today. And then after that, going to head home and get some final touches for the house, uh, hopefully check out I'm trying to get the stuff from Ocean State Job Lot, and so there's a couple different locations around, so I've been driving around to the different ones to see if they have something I'm looking for. It's just like a tempur pad thing. I mean, you can always get this shit on Amazon, you know, but the Ocean State Job Lots, they've got it right here, and it's, you know, on the way, so, I mean, I, I could have, could just definitely get it on Amazon, but I kind of like ocean state job lots so we're gonna check it out plus it's like i mean dirt fucking cheap i mean compared to the online price easily 10 bucks cheaper than amazon easily 10 15 so that's on the docket for today and as far as everything goes for upcoming plans uh so far so good got my schedule for working at Hunter, assuming I work, you know, at Hunter this season, you know, fingers crossed it all goes through. If it doesn't go through, you know, that's not the end of the world because I still have backup on backup plans as far as work and jobs and different things. So that, you know, just got kind of got one thing. We're going it, taking it day by day and we'll see how it ends up. You know, if it turns out that I don't end up working here, that just means I get to apply for other jobs and try and, you know, up, get into other positions. So, you know, not the end of the world, but, uh, yeah, it started off a little risky this morning. Uh, started off kind of a little in my head, a little bit, uh, you know, a little hectic, uh, slept past my alarm, even though I went to bed like, I mean, I went to bed like an hour and a half early today or something, or yesterday. I went to bed at probably 10, 10, 15, because it was like, it was like turning 10 o'clock as I was putting my phone down. So like, you know, probably got a solid nine hours of sleep or something when I only needed eight and my goal was to wake up at six, but I slept right through my alarm, slept right through my alarm and my Google calendar wake up thing. So I, I think I might be done taking melatonin because I don't think I'm having a problem sleeping anymore. I'm thinking I'm having a problem waking up. So I don't want to end up crashing through stuff like that. So I think that's what today's, this morning's memo was, was okay. I think the going to bed, I think the sleep schedule is good. I don't need to take melatonin and risk crashing through uh, everything. So that's my little Monday, uh, December 2nd vlog. And we'll see how everything goes because maybe I'll see y'all, or hopefully I'll see y'all December 3rd. All right, smoke grass, eat ass, deuces. I am coming off of an incredible poop with an incredible change of heart. 
And that's just what you need sometimes. You just got to poop out all that. Oof, and then hit you with all the... Oh, yeah. So, for today, because this is the little mini vlog video for today, because that's what we're doing. We're doing a little mini vlog video a day type thing now, I guess. We'll see how long it goes. Hey, I'll make a montage at the end of the month. Who knows? Anyway, so, the point is that today... Change of heart, everything for, I mean, I knew I had to do all this skiing shit, right? For so many different reasons. And so, the now update is coming at it hard. Had to wait for them to verify my, well, insert my, we, we had to wait for this third party company. So I couldn't do anything over the weekend because they're closed on the weekends. But so basically starting off Monday strong, hitting them with an email, 7 a.m. being like, hopefully today my verification process, hopefully the party, you know, the third party, they're out in Colorado, basically. So hitting them at 7 a.m., I know they're still going to be closed. So when it does come in, boom, they'll already have my schedule. They'll already have everything like that. Good to go. I'm going to be tonight looking into what I need to do to get lessons scheduled because I want to, again, with this whole new poop, new change of heart, new mentality, new everything, right? I'm going to be printing the business cards for the ski. And this time, instead of just printing them how I was going to print them, I'm actually going to fucking use my brain a little bit and check out everything as far as scheduling so I can somewhat speed that up, you know, have whatever phone number needs to be called, whatever reference number needs to be put in, whatever code needs to be done. It's on the card, easy to see, beep, bop, boop, and also has it so that people can schedule for me privately the directly with the card and everything so that's the update for tonight going to get to work on all that going to send out this email in the morning I already got my schedule 45 days which is double what they want from part-time and so they said they're willing to waive the requirements for me because I'm working so many days and so let's fucking, that's it. That's the update. Three minutes, not bad. Smoke grass, eat ass. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. All right, it's officially the morning of December 5th. I didn't record December 4th. So the big update is did all the packing and traveling, did all of the organization for all the ski stuff, sent out the email to my boss with my schedule for the winter and everything, and got myself bit more organized when it comes to the business cards for the winter time and everything and now it's January or December 5th oh I, and then we saw uh, the boy with the heron uh, heron wings or something a Miyazaki movie kind of trippy as fuck if anything I blame that movie for messing me up because damn that was a fucking trippy ass movie. I wasn't expecting it to be. I was. I kind of thought it would be one of the more like kiddie Miyazaki movies, and then it turned out to be one of the more trippy what the fuck movies. <laughs> and so now, today, gonna go run, get these Christmas lights. It's ten o'clock in the morning. Mom's gonna be gone until twelve thirty, so I got two hours to go run to Home Depot, pick up a bunch of Christmas lights, put them all up, and then. After that, do some business card work, get that business card design a little bit more rough drafted. I want to get the rough draft done today. Basically, I'm going to have my private lesson number as well as the discount QR code for the uh, like discount tickets. I want to put those on my card so it's together. Also, I want to... I basically, essentially, these are going to be like promo private lesson cards... So that's kind of the plan for today and a little bit of a two for day uh, video on that. Um, and it's kind of annoying because I made sure to make sure I didn't miss the third and then I missed the fourth right after it. Fuck. But hopefully this is uh, 
good enough, and uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Woo! Spring break! What's up, nerds? Back with another morning video. See how today goes. So yesterday was pretty good. I uh, got everything done that wanted to get done. Did everything I wanted to get out. Got out and saw a movie. Saw Godzilla. Had a nice little parent-family uh, dinner thing last night. Dad got Mom his uh, Christmas presents. And now today, I am on the way to see my uh, neurologist to get a update on my script and hopefully get some blood work stuff done. And then after this is done, going to do a, another kind of more like a lunchy type brunchy type thing and maybe a matinee movie with mom and then give her my birthday presents and then after that going to head back up to my house because I've got the guys coming to upgrade the gas meter tomorrow at 9 a.m. so going to be home so that I'm there to help them with that and then after that, we've got some ski stuff coming up, and, uh, you know, we'll hit that as it comes. Gonna head out to Boston this weekend to see my boy, because I promised him I would come see him, and it's been literally for fucking ever, so I'm just driving out to go see him, but uh, that's kind of the update today. Ugh. I don't know what it is with... Uh, I, I gotta get it get it solved. I don't know if it's my phone, if it's my alarm, if it's you know uh, that. Well, it's definitely me, right? But something along you know with me because I'm going to bed without melatonin gummies, which is nice, right? Getting sleep without needing uh, to knock myself out is always good. However, I kind of almost slept through my appointment today because I was dreaming and I don't know if it was because I wanted to stay inside the dream or if I you know or if I was distracted by the dream or and like you know if I need to be more aware so that I can wake up uh you know I gotta figure out what the hell that was because I mean I went to bed last night at pretty early I went to bed last night at before 11 and I had to be up at like 6 30 I had to be up at maybe like you know 6 45 7 o'clock and I got up at 7 45 and so I mean it was it's annoying because when I take my melatonin gummies there's nothing for me to dream of so I wake up immediately when I want to wake up because it's like oh boom there's my alarm but now I'm having dreams that are distracting me, so I need to really make sure that I'm uh, getting up on time because I, uh, yeah, I gotta see what the deal with that is. Anyway, that's all for now. Time to go get this neurologist appointment done. Fingers crossed, whatever traffic is on my way has lightened up a little bit because. This is supposed to be a less than an hour ride, and it's an hour and 20 minutes today, so there's traffic up the fucking ass when I get closer to the city, so I'm really hoping that that's done with. All right, that's it for today's video. See you in tomorrow's. What's up, nerds? Back with another day of morning intro stuff. So I didn't record the last two days and so the two day update was made it into the city got my doctor's one of my two doctor's appointments done that I had to get done that was really important and that was good made it into the city in and out everything nice got a parking spot that was like incredibly I just an incredible spot I mean like I couldn't believe it and so everything with that worked well and then after that I had to watch the gas people come because I needed to upgrade my gas meter and they ended up making a change that 
negated $300, $350 worth of plumbing work, which was extremely frustrating. And, uh, <laughs> but otherwise, the actual install itself was great, no problems, went fine. It was just like, damn, they really just ripped out all the stuff that the guy was gonna do. And all these people knew all of this, but none of them used their brains when it was happening. So, I mean, that's kind of an interesting, I mean, I, you know, shit, you had these people that, like, I mean, the guy that came originally to do it couldn't even do it because he was like, oh, now I see we need, like, this special team to come do it. So the other person who was there for my inspection before, I mean, wouldn't they have known? Because, I mean, it's at the point where it's like, it's, uh, it seems to be like, oh, well, you just have to get this other crew, so. Uh, but now it's all taken care of. Doctor's appointment's done. Family time's done. Gas thing is done. So now we're going to go do a little bit of skiing in the morning since it is fucking beautiful out. And I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. No, but <laughs> but really, though, I'm here, you know. I might as well get on the fucking mountain. Like, if I'm fucking 10 minutes next to a mountain and you can see the sun in my face, it's fucking beautiful. No clouds. Like, I mean, is I can't... I'm a skier, baby. I can't turn down shit like this. So gonna ski for a bit and then after that go home give my mom a bunch of hugs give my mom some happy birthday stuff then see how this weekend goes gonna go visit my boy out in boston tomorrow and then after that going to hang out for one more day and then sunday morning drive back and then uh next week starts I'm gonna bring, finally gonna bring Dyrone, uh, my bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit baby, up to the new house. Gonna have him explore all of his new digs. Going to do some skiing, going to do some editing and some, you know, just adult stuff. So that's the update. Missed a couple days, but you guys didn't miss much. Mainly just cranking out boring, scheduled stuff. But uh, yeah enjoying the the ride through all these vlogs I hope I'm curious when my haircut's gonna happen because I'm I used to go at this haircut place that's pretty good and they've got like professional hairstylists there and stuff but I'm thinking I might go back to my classic barber uh, we'll see because I want to see how what he thinks about you know the barbing barbing style that I've got or that I want to get so that's it Smell grass, eat ass. My beard looks kind of weird from below, or my mustache. That's only because I've messed up a couple little parts, but I can trim those and fix those up later. I just didn't want to do. I, sometimes, I, when the the stash part down here is getting a little too crazy, I gotta trim it up. So this time I went with a little bit more of a high rise, not a full handlebar. So, all right, smoke grass, eat ass, deuces. All right, so yesterday, didn't record a video because I spent like seven hours on the ride or seven hours on the road uh, driving out to Massachusetts to see one of my boys who plays RuneScape for his birthday. And it was fun, went around, did all sorts of stuff, got him a couple presents, got one of our other boys a couple presents, uh, you know, chilled out, vibed out, enjoyed uh, just you know, getting out and about and seeing each other finally. We'd been trying to see each other for like fucking three, four weeks. So it was nice to finally get some fucking FaceTime and then made it home safe. You know, pet my bunny, went to bed, got some great sleep uh, this morning. You know, honestly, pretty uh, successful day as well. Didn't get bitched at for not going to church because the other person didn't go to church either, which was nice or someone else uh, got to split the blame with me. <laughs> and then after that, I uh, saw a movie uh, right now, going to go see another boy. Then after that, go to the gym. And then tonight is Eagles game. And honestly, all in all, so far, you know, really nice weekend going, really nice uh, time with all the friends, really nice time with all the family. 
and we'll see how you know this all goes what's up nerds it has officially been two days since my last recording self thing so two days ago i went to go see the hunger birds hunger games song snake bird movie with my mom and because we had all seen the original uh, movies in theater together and we had read the books and everything right so I went to go see that and as far as movies go uh, honestly not that terrible of a movie not that terrible of a story I mean hey they want to make money off of it so they're milking it for money I mean the only thing that I didn't like was the writing the acting I thought was perfect like don't get me wrong I don't like have any crazy feelings one way or the other for Rachel Zeigler, but it definitely was like, she was like the perfect, <laughs> the way they wrote her, <laughs> it acts, <laughs> I mean like, it basically for me, like if I was going to do it, it was like, just, pr just pretend like you're the biggest asshole in a southern accent, or you're an asshole with a southern accent and play up being the asshole. And I'm like, okay, say less. <laughs> well, say, say less, y'all. <laughs> like, so there's like, I just, I had so many y'alls. Oh my God. But like, you know, it would just, it worked. And then the snow guy, the guy that got to play snow, young snow, the actor, whatever, sick. I mean, like awesome actor. So I mean, looking forward to seeing more of him and other stuff. He reminds me, honestly, very much of, like, Timothy Chamelet, you know, new new blood, fresh young actors. We'll see, you know, what they're capable of doing, but I, you know, that's where I, he kind of falls for me now. And so that was that. Did that with Mom. Ended up doing a bunch of working out, uh, seeing my boy, and then the next day after that, yesterday, went and saw the boy and the heron again with uh, one of my other boys who moved, he got a house and moved, but he's within 45 minutes and his gym is in the mall that the movie theater was in. So literally we got the gym, got in sick pumps, sick hour workout. Oh man, I felt a lot stronger than I thought I'd feel and I feel real good today and it was just a guy we were so fucking pumped and juicy oh my god such a good workout and then after that got protein shakes went and saw the boy in the heron uh that was such a trippy fucking movie dude that is such a like it's such a trippy fucking movie. It was so good. Like, you know how some Studio Gilby, some Miyazaki movies, they're like kid movies or like family movies or something. I mean, this one could be a bit of a, could be a bit of a family movie. There's definitely some kind of funny like, ha, poopy, poopy jokes, little kid, poopy jokes, get the little kid to laugh, ha, ha, ha. But, and the parents can still watch because it's still like the birds are kind of, kind of crazy. Like, so, I mean, like it. I don't know, but it definitely wasn't one of, like, the... It was definitely more what-the-fuck than, uh... Like, I mean, like, at the end, how do you, uh... I... I okay, I can't, I can't spoil the end, but, like, you know... I don't see how on earth it's possible to explain the ending of that movie to a kid and not have them, like, freak out. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's... I'll put it that way. For, like, is it a kid movie or not? For, like, Miyazaki. So, saw that. Sick pump. And got a whole lot of runescaping done. The movie theater was sick because it was, like, two... It was, like, all... It was, like, an underground bunker made into a fucking movie theater. I mean, it was like, it was like, I was like, what the fuck's going on, bro? Like, we went down two and a half stories into the ground to get to our movie theater. Like, what? So, that's the, that's the update. We are now on the way to Pennsylvania to shoot with my dad, do some shotgun shooting, and after that, get lunch, 
and then it's time to head back to Schenectady to get hopefully one last bunny rabbit project finished tomorrow and then one more desk project finished and once those things are done then Friday well I've got that Thursday and Friday and then Friday night going to where the new job is because Saturday is new job training and then Sunday chilling Monday we'll see who I can visit see what friends I can sneak in see what kind of stuff that is Tuesday see about maybe seeing Wonka and also I've got a doctor's appointment so we might be doing uh, you know some combo stuff that day and then Wednesday the job starts Wednesday, new job, next three months, pretty much, you know, 48 days of skiing all lined up and then we'll see with the weekends and how everything goes, but, and you know, who knows with the gym and the hot tub and everything, but I'm sure it'll work out. It's part of the thing, maybe Friday, if I get done early, I'll be able to stop by this hotel that's got a hot tub and little gym and it's not all the way down the mountain and so it would be nice to see if those guys would let me either use the hot tub or use the gym for a certain payment a month without needing to rent a room uh and you know i'll be real clean uh, you know i'm obviously going to show them my bags and everything you know i carry everything with me I'm a, I, this is just you know and see what the deal is uh because that would be something nice like getting a hot tub real close by like within like a 15 20 minute drive oh man that would be fucking big so that's that all right smoke grass eat ass deuces be excellent to each other morning nerds it's been a few days since i did a selfie record video which is really disappointing i think this is the third day that i've missed so or this is day three i missed two days or possibly I missed three days and this is day four. It's actually kind of bad. Um, starting off this day in not the most positive way. Uh, starting, you know, I'm, I'm on the way to work on time. I left uh, the house the right time. But yesterday, dealing with this fucking shit internet at the house and the bullshit routers and modems and everything that Spectrum all give you and it's fucking terrible and I need to get a new router because I don't even know if I want to work this job one and then two I sure as fucking shit ain't working this job if there's no internet because while I can edit on the computer in you know offline no internet the whole point was to stream and edit and stuff after you know, work had, had finished. That's the whole point of taking this job. It's less about the job during the day and more about the editing and getting caught up on everything online to me. That's really what the biggest priority is. Like the job is nice, but that's just not uh, a, a high priority for me. And so, you know, I'm already in this, like, why am I doing this mode, you know? And then I forgot to brush my teeth before leaving. I got gum in the car, which is a nice, uh, you know, backup, but damn. And then on top of, you know, I realized I missed a recording last night and I wasn't going to sit in my bed and record. I mean, in the future, maybe that's what I'll do because now I know that, like, I'm, like, annoyed, right? So I'll just record in my bed even if I can't see anything. But now that the little negativity rants out of the way, let's get the positivity uh, going. So positivity side, uh, see my boy today, might go to a new gym today after uh, doing all this, which is nice. Uh, you know, going to see what the deal is as far as signing uh, documents to become an official employee and everything today. Uh, maybe I'll just sign away my life and not think about it. But I also kind of like probably should think about it, right? You know, like, huh. So uh, we'll see, uh, you know, how everything uh, turns out. You know, I think regardless, it'll turn out whichever path, it'll turn out fine. Uh, it's definitely just a little, you know, a little bit of a rough transition. We'll see. And, uh, 
you know, something that, again, today, lesson of today's little morning video, definitely a big lesson is to stay out of my own head or to be honest about if I'm in my head, be honest if I'm being truthful or dishonest with myself because I 1000% had the time to sit down and do some, you know, serious thinking. And instead of doing serious thinking, I turned my brain off, well, partially turned my brain off, but, you know, I had a lot more, I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun, I was doing a lot of smiling and laughing, it's not like that time that I spent not using my brain was bad, it was a good de-stressing, de-relaxing, hang out with friends, enjoyable time, however, because I spent that, you know, had that enjoyable time and did all of that, I am now, you know, in this uh, little bit more of a mental, you know, negative mental. So just, uh, you know, trying to keep myself in check, trying to keep myself honest uh, because, you know, I want to work this ski job really badly, but it's, you know, a tough, it's a tough sell when I'm just not making the same money that I would you know I gotta do the math out but uh, you know I don't think this is gonna be enough uh, you know especially if I'm taking all of February off which is you know on purpose to help me you know but if I but if it's not going to be helpful and I'm gonna be more worried about money during that time and I'm going to have to focus on, you know, like, and, and again, I need to be better at budgeting. Like the answer is yes, get better at budgeting, right? But that's the whole point of this time. The time is to, is to use this time to get better at budgeting. So we'll see tonight, I might end, or today, we'll see how it goes. You know, when I get to work, we'll see what kind of time frame I'm on. We'll see what kind of uh, situation it's like when I get in there. See, uh, you know, when the, cause I'm getting there a pretty good time. I'll be getting there before the morning meeting. I'm pretty positive. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how it all, uh, how it all turns out. All right. Smoke grass, eat ass, deuces, and be excellent to each other. Deuces. All right, what's up, nerds? Back with another morning vlog selfie video. So, it is uh, going pretty well. So, yesterday, ended up driving back to see mom. Well, is it t today's Monday, right? Today's shit. Yeah, today's Monday. So, yesterday was Sunday. So, I went in to work Saturday. So Saturday was kind of a little bit of a nervous day with everything that had gone on with work and deciding to not work at Hunter Mountain, which is run by Vale, which switched up the way that they, uh, you know, handled uh, everything over there. And, you know, I just, uh, I just wasn't, it wasn't the same job as what I was going to be before. And I was part-time but they wanted me to do full-time and then full-time came with all this other stuff and I just uh you know it, it, it just wasn't it, it was a situation that I think I went into a little bit too early and excitedly and right now I've got such a good plan and I don't need to you know push myself any further I'm already doing a whole bunch of shit so you know it's just it just wasn't you know it wasn't worth it so ended up making the decision to not work at Hunter and just, you know, continue the path that I was doing and just, you know, have more free time to do it and not be, you know, driving myself crazy over money and needing to work hours and then also needing to come home and do all the other work and stressing myself out and anxiety between all that. Like, I've already got, you know, a real good solid plan. It's already, everything's already good. So let's just fucking, you know, stick to it and not try and, you know, go too crazy and the day after that went home for church uh because it's probably one of the last times i'm going to go to church or at least this church uh saw mom you know was uh you know she likes uh you know she just wants to see me there and for me to be in church and everything so that was nice got it out of the way for her and uh it's funny you know she normally would stay you know in the past would stay till church stay like an hour afterwards to eat and hang out and do all this stuff but uh now 
that my dad's not there to cook food and now that people are you know taking more of an active role and these different people are taking over the church and everything she's just like fine fuck it fuck you let him take it over whatever fuck this i'm gonna go do whatever else so normally she'd do all that she left church within the first like five minutes after it ending <laughs> so it was just like you know it, i'm chilling right like it's it's all uh, honestly work working out well and uh, then after that we saw that new obama movie the uh, leave the world behind uh we saw that uh afterwards talked about that and stuff you know had a good little dinner and then uh you know played some rootscape and went to bed <laughs> or well first i went to the gym did some boxing and stuff then after that played some rootscape and went to bed so today we're out you know uh just did our little morning vlog catch up now we're gonna go to the haircut barbershop to talk to them about uh you know my possible cut that I'd like to get done and if that doesn't happen then we're just going to do a nice little cleanup of the beard and uh, clean up of the stash and then after that uh, we're going to come home get well we're going to get an oil change then after that come home play RuneScape for a bit and then after that go to the gym because uh, one of my boys at the gym his uh, insanely hot sister is now uh, coming to the gym with him and she's not married uh, she, maybe she's got a boyfriend but I mean uh, hey unless you plant that flag brother you better uh, you know be ready for uh, some territorial battles so <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna ask you to cheat or anything but god damn is she hot so and I'm, I'm at the gym that time anyway so I mean oh you know if I just happen to be there at the same time he's with her you know I mean hey, it's just normal regular schedule you know for the last like six months so he can't be like oh he's only coming to the gym to look at your ass it's like no, I have, this is my time to come to the gym, bitch, and you just happen to be here with me. Uh, but that's the uh, update after we do all this. Then tomorrow it is doctor appointment day, and then Wednesday we're going to go work out with the boy, and after that go to his new apartment, which is the same apartment complex that a bunch of these sexy Venezuelan chicks that are coming to work at Hunter for the winter are living in. So going to go see that, you know, maybe do a little hanging out, maybe do a little drink and thinking, you know, who knows. And then Thursday and Friday, do some uh, work on the house, do a little bit of woodworking uh, stuff that I wanted to get done. Uh, I got this project for this chick I was trying to get finished for her bunny rabbit and, uh, that's kind of the next like week of plans i mean i'm still gonna do like the videos every day you know when i uh wake up and stuff but that's kind of the you know immediate future and so we'll see how it all goes thanks for watching smoke grass eat ass be excellent to each other as always deuces oh what's up nerds good morning oh god fuck me it's cold oh my god it's cold in this car and Day two of the mullet, day two of the haircut, feeling just as fucking slippery and sloppy as we were yesterday. And it was actually, oh, it was such a nice workout, felt so fucking big and so fucking huge. And then with the fucking, you know, the flow on top, I mean, oh my God, I'm fucking in, in love with this. I could, I could see why people say when you fucking get a mullet, you're a fucking another person. Like I, I ain't Luke no more. I'm fucking. I'm. I'm Luke. Mook. I'm Mook now. Mook. That's not really. That's like an Italian thing. Hey, you Mook. That's not like. I'm a look at. A, a, a look at. A look at. Look. Look at. Anyway, Luke with the mullet. Whatever. Anyway, so we are on the way in this cold ass fucking car this morning to go get a little bit of brekkie for the moms, get a little brekkie for myself, and getting ready for tomorrow, gonna go shoot with dad again in the morning, and then after shooting with dad, gonna see grandma, because you know, I don't know how long we've got grandma around, so see grandma as much as we can, and then after that, driving back up to the house to finish the last bits of these uh, couple projects mainly this rabbit project i've got this rabbit cage project project and also uh just a little car 
uh, project as far as like, you know, just for like organizing some of the stuff back here as far as like, I've got two sections underneath my seats for different, you know, various stuff underneath the seat behind me. I've got various different first aid supplies and stuff like that, different like car stuff. And then over in the passenger seat or behind the passenger seat is where I've got all of my, uh, as far as like uh, straps, uh, tools, different things like that. And basically I'm just gonna like make like a couple little like cubicle type things for them. And then I've got that bunny rabbit thing I'm finishing. And then, then it's the weekend and we're gonna do some shredding. And then after that, coming back home for the last round of Christmas stuff, do the Christmas stuff, get the holiday stuff out of the way. And then after, and then shoot one last time, possibly maybe see grandma, possibly not. And then that'll be next Wednesday. Christmas will be done, everything like that. And then come back up, be around upstate up here for, or back at my house for the New Year's because we're going to be doing a lot of shredding McFredding after that. And then comes January and the month of January and March, uh, in, or January and February, at least up until a trip on February, we're going to be doing a lot of streaming and a lot of video editing. And so that's kind of like the plan for the next immediate you know, month and a half or so, you know, next two weeks and then into the next like month, month and a half. And again, the big goal is to get caught up on the footage that I've got, file it, organize it into the different projects that, I'm, that I've got. And then after all of that, then we're ready to restart the channel, do the new channel rebrand, new content, new stream, everything like that. So pretty exciting. Today, uh, I've got a doctor's appointment, and uh, hopefully that'll end up with, like, you know, getting all, all the different scripts and recommendations and everything, and then I can go to all these different specialists and everything and, you know, figure all that stuff out. So, that's a little update. Excited for winter, excited for the future. So happy that I decided to not add on an extra 10 hours of work a day because as much as it's good to have, you know, that, you know, as nice as that sounds, the reality is that I'm not getting paid for a lot of that 10 hours of work. And that's 10 hours, you know, not including the other, you know, six, eight hours that I've got myself. And just time wise, you know, if I'm getting eight hours of sleep a night, you know, 24 hours in the day. I only got 16 hours to work with. So, you know, I think it's just a better use of my time right now. Uh, I've got budgeting set up. I've got all sorts of stuff looking forward to showing you. So anyway, hopefully later in this uh, monthly progression video, <laughs> I've got, you know, more stuff. But anyway, brekkie time, mom time, then doctor, then shoot, then projects, then presence, then more shooting, and then it's stream time and documentary editing time. So, woo, spring break, baby. Anyway, smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other. Deuces. All right, what's up, nerds? Part two of today's video. You can see I'm still wearing all the same clothes, vest, uh, pajama stuff. And uh, so finished up getting up everything for breakfast, finished doing all of my laundry, finished doing all of the house chores, finished doing online house stuff, finished doing phone stuff, got all sorts of shit done today, and now the icing on the cake heading over to the doctors, right? This is all stuff laid out uh, in the first video, and it's all been completed, baby, before 2 p.m., and now driving to the doctor, so I figured I'd do a little checkup, like run through on the phone, and because uh, I'm sure I'll have, uh, you know, other videos talking about healthcare and whatnot, but this is, you know, in the time of right now, this is what my healthcare is about. So basically, we are going to go first to get a script for blood work because blood work is 
probably the most important thing to me, daily blood work, getting that set up. So starting off 2024 strong, getting blood work done, getting that on schedule, getting the results for that, that's highest priority. Second highest priority is I've got two skin conditions. Well, one skin condition and one kind of like skin irritation kind of thing. Just kind of curious to get to the bottom of that because uh, I'm, you know, not super paranoid yet, but I also, you know, know that if I ignore this for, you know, another fucking 30 years, you know, who knows what the uh, fucking outcome is going to be, you know? So let's, you know, figure out now what the problem is so I can start addressing it. And hopefully, again, the blood work, because that's number one, hopefully the blood work will tell us a little bit more about that. And uh, if anything, see if there's any suggested, you know, dermatologists or anything in my network, you know? Uh, similarly to the skin condition stuff, there's also kind of the... Uh, <laughs> the awkward ball pain, meaning like, you know, like the nether regions, like junk pain, right? And, you know, is that because I'm not mansplaining as much? I'm trying to sit with my leg cl legs closer together and my thighs are big from squatting and everything. So am I like squishing my balls more? Or is that, you know, something I should be concerned about? You know, again, hopefully, you know, we're trying not to freak ourselves out or anything, right? But that's, you know, definitely something I want to ask uh, the doc about, get a, you know, recommendation for a spe specialist or anything like that. And I've already got dentist stuff taken care of. And, oh, and the final thing, uh, the three things, we've got the skin, the balls, and the back. So the last thing, you know, doing all of this... Uh, low back, uh, you know, strengthening all of this power training type stuff, you know, it's all, it's all with the goal of improving lower back strength, improving core stability, working on naturally fixing my, you know, uh, scoliosis via muscle building, hypertrophy, all that, you know, fun shit. And so, you know, looking for a Cairo or a rehab place or anything like that. Maybe get an x-ray on the back. You know, we'll see. You know, we'll see again. We'll see how it all goes. But that's the kind of way I'm feeling. Because I just want to get this all just, you know, just double checked. You know, just a nice little double check, you know. Because it feels good, you know. Honestly, you know, fucking deadlifting consistently and working on the low body core strength. I mean, that really does, I feel it, help my back. So, you know, it's just a matter of verifying all that with science because I am a scientist technically, although my degree is in engineering, it's a bachelor of science in engineering. So technically scientist, but that's that. Smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other, deuces.
All right, what's up, nerds? Back with another video using my little earphone headphone thing, so I'm not really sure how the audio is going to come out. I'm also, like, by the door, which has terrible echo, so let me move over here. So, basically, everything yesterday went pretty much as good as it could go. Got everything done at the house, cleaned up all the house, installed my new bed uh, display, TV holder display thing, moved the old TV, brought it down, got it out of there so it's easier to recycle if we need to recycle, and did a nice little workout boxing, went shredding in the morning, uh, all around pretty good day, and the only thing was that, God, I need to stop doing this, I stayed up for like three hours reading manga last night, oh my god, the sword family's renowned prodigal genius wants to destroy his family. I mean, Jesus Christ, can we make a shorter name for this shit, please? But, oh my God, I stayed up until like one thirty, just reading this shit and mining coal ore in RuneScape. Oh God, so slightly a little bit tired, but still feeling good today. And so today is go to church to make it up for, or, well, not to make up for anything, just kind of go to church because it's like one of the last times I'm going to be going to church, honestly. And then, you know, it's Christmas stuff and also dad's going to go. So we'll have the full family Christmas experience one last time. And then after that, hit the gym again, maybe see a movie and see my boy because it's going to be one of the last times he's going to be chilling in his uh, old house before he moves out. So seeing him and, uh, you know, kind of just a chill Sunday. And then Monday, Christmas, Tuesday, going to hopefully see my boy and work out with my boy. And then Wednesday, shooting with my dad. And then after that, probably Thursday or Friday, try and drive over to my cousin's house, see my cousin. Last night, we were on the phone for literally like an hour and a half. That's kind of one of the reasons I was up so late because like everything was delayed by an hour and a half. So maybe I would have gone, gone to bed at 12 if he and I hadn't talked forever. But it was really good to talk to him. And he didn't, uh, his words, not mine. He was like, I didn't know what kind of person you would be. And it's funny, you're talking about so much of this stuff without any prompt for me or anything. And so that was kind of nice because uh, I really do like my cousin. He's a great guy, great family guy. He's been uh, not a super influential, but someone who's always brought a smile to my face, someone who's always brought love to the family, etc. So going to hopefully see him. And then after that, head uh, up this weekend, do a little bit of shredding, do a little bit of organizing and stuff. And then I, I come back home for a doctor's appointment after New Year's. So I'm going to get absolutely hammered New Year's, party with all these Venezuelans, and then hungover, drive my ass back down home for the doctor's appointment. And then after that, hang out with the family. And then it's time January to go up and ski and work and start editing and do all this, you know, build up of everything that we've been, you know, talking about on the channel and everything like that. So gonna be a busy few weeks and then month and then in february going to spain so we'll see you in tomorrow's video that's the update for now i've got only like one ounce left of bud after having pounds for the last like year year and a half pa literal pounds of bud and now i'm down to an ounce and the rest of it's been processed and stored and so it's kind of kind of crazy so it's gonna be interesting to see how it all goes and i mean this fucking haircut bro i am fucking ooh, sheesh i'm loving this mullet and then we got roasted potatoes baby got some eggs and snassage ready to cook up baby so anyway that's all that see you guys in the next little update vlog video thanks Alright, what's up nerds? Back with the little vlog things. So you can tell it's driving, it's late night, we're in the car. Don't worry, we've got hands on the wheels, nice and safe driving. And so basically, yesterday was Christmas, 
So I didn't do much recording because I was just doing Christmas stuff all day. Ended up watching Zack Snyder's movie and also watched the Obama movie. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. And then had some dinner that Dad cooked. And then we uh, opened up Christmas presents. And then... I can't believe it, One other thing. Can't remember. Overall, just like, you know, family day. And then today went and did the second Christmas with the rest of mom's family in the city, drove out to Brooklyn and did all that. Picked up all the uh, Puerto Rican family members and had a little get together, everything with them, which was nice. And now, oh, excuse me. Woo Just finished up watching the Abyss special edition by James Cameron the underwater sea uh, ship uh, thing and uh, it was actually really good uh, Ed Harris uh, has one of the most, probably one of the most iconic lines in movie history and uh, little scenes in movie history and I was fucking obsessed with it, I was loving it so that was a real good one and on the flip side got the next couple days planned out huh oh. It's going to rain all throughout the night, so I'm not going to be going shooting tomorrow. I'm going to be shooting Thursday. So that means, on the flip side, tomorrow I'm going to hopefully get some... The goal is to get a bunch of YouTube playlists organized and get the YouTube defaults and then probably blank out all of my videos. Uh, well, pri private all my videos and then... Once I've figured out the ones we're going to go with for the documentary and to leave up and everything like that, we'll have those ones, pick them out and choose them. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just a chill family holiday last two days. Eating good food. Oh, my God. Get all these fucking yawns out of my system. I bought these uh, protein caffeine bars. Each bar's got 80 grams of caffeine, but I haven't uh, I haven't cracked them out yet because I honestly don't want to eat caffeine. It's bad enough I already drink you know as much caffeine as I do. I don't want to start eating it you know on top. So we'll see. But anyway, that's my little uh, three minute. There we go update September end of December getting a couple more a couple more of these things and then it's going to be montage time baby so yeah it'll be interesting to watch my progression of December videos anyway smoke grass eat ass be excellent to each other deuces all right what's up nerds back with another of a loggy video shorter so this one's gonna be a little bit more detailed actually because at the end of the last one I was like thinking to myself, I was like, damn, I wanted to kind of go in a little bit more. So let's kind of go in a little bit more in this one. And basically what that means is upcoming schedule as far as January and the beginning of February and upcoming diets and planning and all of that stuff as well as different content and things like that, right? So today, got a good amount of stuff on RuneScape I wanted to get done, stacked a quadrillion uh, caskets in RuneScape. And uh, that's actually something I've been wanting to do for forever. So I'm happy I actually got out there and did that. And I'm looking forward to finishing up this casket stack when it's all said and done. And I'm in my pockets looking for something. That's why I'm checking this out right now. Because there is a... Uh, I got these caffeine bars. And they were actually surprisingly decent. Um... And so I'm just checking because I got one for right before going to the gym. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find it and, or eat it before the gym. So I'll have a nice, fun workout with all natty, no supplementation, even if it's just caffeine. Blah. So, but anyway, so back on, but as you could tell, talking about getting on the diets, right? Back on going to the gym and back on eating. And I'm hoping this person turns past me. I'm hoping this person turns past me. What are you doing? Like, Jesus Christ. It's like, turn past me, fucking retard. Oh my God. 
It's like I have my turn signal on. This person sees that I'm coming, and instead of just driving past me and then turning like they fucking should, they waited for me to cut them off. It's like, why would I drive in front of you like that and a fucking retard? Holy shit. I mean, learn how to fucking drive. Anyway, but so what I was saying is going to the gym, been honestly lifting pretty strong and feeling pretty good. I had a little bit of a foot problem. And so I've been doing therapy for this last week of foot stuff, doing a lot of cardio though. And st and today we're probably going to throw in a little bit of upper body after stretching and stuff. But I mean, the body's feeling good. The foot feels a lot stronger than it did before. I was curious how many days this would happen, this like foot bruising thing, how much pain I'd be in, you know? But honestly, feeling really uh, a lot better. And so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna wanna deadlift tomorrow night after a day of walking. I mean, we'll see after the day of walking how my foot feels, right? But I mean, that's gym aspect wise because if that's all set to go, then it's gonna be skiing on the weekend quads are feeling pretty good. I'm up to about two and a half, three hours of skiing right now. I mean, of like heavy skiing and, uh, le before my legs are like, uh, okay, we need to take a little bit of a break or something. So three hours, I mean, that's pretty good. Making it to the half day mark. Uh, I'm able to ski all the good morning hours, you know, morning hours. So, so far so good on that. Now it's just a matter of throwing in accessories. Uh, I feel a lot stronger when I'm chopping wood, which is really nice. I mean, I can I noticeably feel much stronger when I'm chopping, which is awesome. And so definitely need to, you know, keep that going because there's a lot of rotator elbow, you know, shoulder stuff in there. So, and a lot of that's been because I've been stretching with bands and doing exercises to work on that rotation. So definitely, you know, got to keep on top of that because I like feeling strong when I'm chopping wood because there's nothing more satisfying than needing to get a fire going and everything works good because you're one chop chopping all of your tinder and you're not fucking around and like, you know, messing up and everything. So that's that on the fitness stuff, soon to be deadlifting and soon to be skiing more heavily. So, you know, chest, we'll see how I got to start doing my uh, push-ups in the new year. I mean, I could have been doing this now. Obviously, I'm just like a pussy, right? But in the new year, what I want to do is a solid, uh, not burpees, we'll work on burpees, uh, you know, eventually, maybe 2024 will be the year of the burp. But uh, I'm thinking like push-ups, 100 push-ups a day or 25 push-ups, 50 push-ups, 75 push-ups, 100 push-ups, work my way up to it. But, uh, and we'll see how that progression goes with, you know, the winter time. See how, how that goes while I'm uh, shredding and, you know, uh, editing and push up in. I'm thinking about just getting like a push-up cam, you know, literally just have a scene so that, you know, if I get uh, donated or get whatever, you know, boom, stop and do push-ups. And uh, it'd be real easy because I could just a video camera IP use my uh, trap phone to do that. So because that was one of the big things, not having the trap phone was annoying. I didn't have the IP camera, but now boom, we got the trap phone. We got the IP cam back. It's much better quality than the other one. So we fuck it in here. We take those. And uh, now for the edit, I mean, good transition into the editing and the skiing work and all of that. So I made the executive decision to edit project level and then we'll move into the deeper weeds. But the first round of editing is going to be just gathering footage, organizing into projects, and perhaps doing full raw edits uh, meaning, you know, I can just put it all together so I have one massive, you know, 16-hour, you know, project raw file of all of the footage and stuff. And uh, that way, 
you know, it's all together in the computer project organized, but then also if I do end up deciding to get an editor, you know, teach an editor how to do stuff, it'll be easy to just send him the one clip all boom right there, you know, and I can also then when I've got all of the files all organized in the different, uh, you know, Windows Explorer boxes and everything, then I can also just throw that on to Google, upload it all like that, and then I can just have that, you know, stuff like that. Boom. And that will take a lot of time, but it won't take uh, as much time as going through and editing all those projects and then moving on to the next step, which was kind of, you know, what I thought I was going to do. But I think that it's, you know, more important that or I, I for me, it's more I'm realizing that it's me. It's more important getting the documentary out because then I can always do release back end all the projects and have all of that kind of, you know, uh, you know, I can have that as a release schedule and it will give me time to work on the documentary, which is, you know, really the big thing because the documentary is going to be what starts and is like the official transition for like the quote unquote, like Luke Groundwalker like arc and getting all of that started. So, you know, really get the documentary because I could follow up on all the house insulation videos. I could follow up on all of that stuff after. It could always be like lost footage that the alien found when uh, he like broke in. And, you know, so it could all, it, that's the easiest way to spin it. And then, you know, it'll have, because I've got a solid. Right now, I've got a solid six and a half, seven weeks of editing time coming up. And that's going to be about, you know, plus or minus, it's going to be about, you know, 300, 400 hours because it's going to be 30, 40, you know, 40, 50 hours a week times six, you know, six times five is 300. Yeah, so 300 on the low and we'll see how long it ends up going on the high. But I think that should be more than enough to get the documentary and maybe get the first round of project videos. Because then if I get, again, I've got all the footage and everything I've got, how, because I will be streaming how I edit all these videos and everything, right? So I can just show the video editor of the stream, show them the finished product and be like, all right, here you go. This is how I did it. This is what it looked like in the end. Can you make stuff like this? And, you know, possibly, because I, I honestly won't mind if you could make it better. If you could think of anything that you could do to make it better, hey, go for it, you know? But that'll be the next like six weeks of stuff. And then February is going to be a rough month because there's going to be a lot of traveling. So it's going to be interesting to see how much of my programming I can take with me. I mean, the biggest thing that I think I'm going to have to add, which we're going to do a little bit of today, is I'm going to do a lot of stretching, body weight, rotation, uh, stability, you know, uh, free weight kind of stuff because I'm going to be going to Spain and I'm going to be going to Maine and both of those are actually the combination of those two is literally over half the month of February so you know I got to get ready for that so I got to make sure that I can maintain my 75 day streak and maintain you know the path as far as you know, diet and exercise. I'm obviously going to be drinking while I'm out in Spain. Uh, that's going to be the one thing that, you know, if you want to count, uh, you know, my breaking of the rules for, but I'm going to be eating fine. You know, I'm going to be drinking, which is against breaking the rules. You're supposed to be sober for the 75 days and I will be getting a little drunk for sure. However, as far as food goes and diet monitoring and everything like that, that is still going to be, I'm going to be taking account of all of the extra, if there is any, all, which there shouldn't be, but all of the, you know, so we'll see how it goes. And then uh, after, uh, and then the documentary and then this, and then, oh yeah. So while I'm editing, I'm going to be taking a break and skiing in the morning, uh, before I edit, hopefully trying to find a girlfriend, hopefully trying to, you know, in a, find a girlfriend network, 
uh, you know, enjoy my morning times, use the skiing to clear my head and motivate me, etc. All that stuff. This is my favorite thing to do in the world. So start up, start off the day with my favorite thing to do in the world, and then transition to the next hobby, which is going to be hopefully the thing that I get to do and make money without needing to work, you know, the corporate job. So that's the fucking whole uh, bigger, a longer, twice as long, three times as long dump as last video. But I wanted to get it all out of the way because uh, we're going to be seeing my cousin tomorrow, or I'm going to be seeing my cousin tomorrow, and he's been waiting to see me for forever. And so we finally get to get to hang out and talk and it well person to person not over the phone so it's gonna be uh gonna be fun gonna be fun good looking forward to the next few weeks and then it'll be interesting to see how january goes with all the editing uh you know i'm gonna be streaming so if you're watching this video you know watching the channel don't forget to stop in and say hi but anyway that's it i'm gonna go do this body weight workout stretching mobility kind of thing that i'm going to need to be able to replicate when i go out to these like uh, hotels and travel and stuff anyway that's that smoke grass eat ass be excellent to each other i'll see you in the next one deuces all right we're starting off today's vlog with a very special bedtime bed bedtime guest Oh yeah, oh yeah, who's that bunny baby? Oh yeah, who's that bunny baby? So, Tyrone has come to join us for our bedtime Ooh, video. Oh yes, and there he is. Oh, <laughs> I tried to lure him up, but he's like directly right outside the frame. Now he's leaving. Yeah, okay, so. Today went very well. Honestly, uh, biggest concern recently has been my foot uh, feeling better. And my foot has been feeling so much better. And I've been trying to apply different pressures across my feet and giving more uh, pressure to the, uh, you know, pad of my foot and uh, doing a little bit more boxing and whatnot. And it's been feeling real well. Um, I've got a foot massager thing that I've been hitting and that's been helping and, uh, had a lot of, right now we're progressing in league of, uh, old school RuneScape and I just got some real nice progress with everything with that today and I've still got a whole bunch more, uh, stuff to do in the future but uh, that wall went well, and now tonight we're doing a nice vlog, because last time I was like, even if it's late as fuck, I'm still going to do a nice little late time uh, little recording sesh. And uh, tomorrow we're probably going to wake up nice and early and hit the gym as early as we can. And then after that, crank out as much RuneScape as possible before seeing the cousins for some quality family time and afking while i'm there with him and probably get me a couple combat levels and then when i get back home probably do more fishing hopefully get 99 fishing or above 90 we'll see how far that goes and uh all got everything as far as this uh weekend pretty much lined up pretty nicely and uh, got uh, some New Year's plans. We made New Year's Eve plans, which will be nice because going to uh, possibly end up partying with a bunch of these uh, Venezuelan chicks that all memes aside about green cards and everything, uh, you know, we'll see uh, what kind of uh, chicks they are and see if they're, you know, worth uh, hanging out with and, you know, possibly hitting out, hitting on more or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But so far, uh, so good, and now it's time to just uh, mellow out, chill out, and uh, get a little uh, snap, get a little uh, naps in, and uh, we'll see if Tyrone comes uh, for some more bunny baby kisses tonight before I go to bed. If not, it was nice to get a couple little uh, bedtime snuggy, snuggy buggies with my uh, kissy bunny baby in before he goes to bed. But uh, yeah, all right. Smoke grassy to ask be excellent to each other. Deuces.
All right, good morning, nerds. We're getting a double video today because yesterday I didn't uh, record a video at night. So on the way to get blood work done right now. So we'll do a pre and post video blood work. So basically last night I went to go see my cousin after getting a cheeky little... Well, I did my cheeky gym stuff afterwards, actually, but got in, saw the cousin, saw the family because I wanted to get them over at the house and I wanted to see them and I'm going to be talking on the phone with them for the next like two months, two and a half months, but uh, I wanted to get in some, I just saw a black squirrel, um, but I wanted to get in some just FaceTime just so they, you know, could put a face to the voice for a little bit because basically my, uh, <laughs> my cousin's a fucking weeb One of my cousins is a fucking weeb The other one of my cousins is uh, A real nice uh, kid But he's gonna be jumping into a pretty big world uh, He's a gay kid Fine, you know, we don't care that he's gay or anything But he's going to be going to a school in one of the like most prolific gay cities in America <laughs> you know so the <coughs> you know it's just like a <coughs> quiet conservative gay kid you know and he's gonna be you know living it up in like you know San Francisco gay capital of the world you know so uh it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes so you know just kind of talking through about that and then uh my cousin and his wife um are both very into sustainable projects and she's got worms and composting and her own gardening stuff out and that's like you know what I was building towards making next year you know at the house as part of the all the new fencing and new stuff around the house part of that was so I can have a garden outside and uh, lastly, the last final thing, my uh, nephew is, uh, excuse me, oh, oh my God, it's early. Um, but my nephew, he uh, is uh, mentally retarded and uh, he's a real nice, obviously a real nice kid, uh, but you know, it's just, uh, you know, tough. You know, it's like, I mean, thankfully, you know, they've got a real great system for him and they got a real great life for him so it's not like you know they need to find someone to take care of him throughout the day and they're worrying about him paying or his development or anything like that like thankfully you know that that's all set they spent plenty of time with him he's a great kid I mean I was hanging out with him giving me hugs all day long you know accepted me immediately you know not like uh, didn't freak out or anything like so it was a uh, that's you know part of my family so I think that's why that's part of why you know it's really funny to me and I've known these uh this part of my family for years now it's only you know for the last like maybe like six seven years you know haven't talked or anything so it's nice to catch up with them but you know that's why I think it's so funny whenever anyone tries to call me like an ist or a phobe or like tries to project anything any of this bullshit on top of me it's like bro like <laughs> it's like oh I'm sorry am I supposed to like hate my it's like do I hate my my own family my own blood now it's like obviously not you know and there are people like that unfortunately that like don't care you know about family they don't care about any anything more important they only care about you know surface level shit and you know because that's how I see it and that's why I, you know, I want to make sure my cousin knew is like bro you're a real good guy you don't you know have a good guy be your identity identity like you can be you don't have to live your life as a gay man you can live your life as a man who is gay because <laughs> that you know that was just something that you know is going to be big time you know it's like that whole where he's going is like you know that they live and die by their identity and you know that causes a lot of uh you know that you know there's a lot of things that can happen when you're you know, thinking like that. So, you know, it'll be uh, interesting to see how it all progresses. I, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing them again in the future. And uh, I'm at my little blood work place. So let's get blood work done. 
Then after blood work is done, we'll do our update for today and for everything like that. And hopefully it doesn't take too long because thankfully we're here at the blood work place and there is like nobody here. There is like three, four cars here. So I'm hoping we could just pop up inside. Get it done, baby! Woo! All right, smoke grass, eat ass, deuces. See ya after I get my blood work. Done at the blood work place. The doctor that I saw never actually wrote me a script for blood work. So I get here and I'm early and I'm ready and I'm doing all this and I've been here for like an hour plus, right? <laughs> like maybe like an hour and 10 minutes maybe. And the whole time I couldn't even get the blood work done. There was nothing on like the online app, nothing in the paperwork she gave me. So, I mean, it's kind of nice to know it's not my fault. And uh, so, you know, that's the big thing for today, knocked off. And I've got an appointment with her next week. So I can just get the blood work done then, you know, and everything. It's not like the end of the world or anything like that. But uh, I always like when it's not my fault. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, is it this? Is it this? Is it this? You know, showing her all the paperwork. And she's like, nope, she didn't give you anything for this. And I'm like, okay, hey, as long as it's not my fault. So. Now that the blood work's done, going to get stuff at the house organized and throw it in the car because after that we are heading upstate to get a little bit of woodworking done, to get a little bit of stuff around the house done, and then get some clothes because at night we're going to be driving to a ski mountain because got a New Year's Eve party tomorrow night and so I want to be at the house in the morning or at, you know at, at night midnight you know before midnight so then I can wake up and go skiing in the morning and not need to worry about driving an extra hour in the morning before going skiing just like wake up roll out of bed and go on the mountain because I got everything all set in the car so that's the plan and then after that we're going to be heading to party. So there's this uh, hotel that's doing this like hotel party. All you can eat, all you can drink at night. I got a ticket for that. And it's going to be kind of fun meeting up with a couple boys and their girls. And then uh, after that, we're done with there. We might go hop around to a couple house parties, hop around to a couple different bars. Because the nice thing is everything is right on Main Street. So it's literally just boom, 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 right on Main Street. And... Then after that, New Year's and everything, that's Sunday into Monday morning, Monday afternoon, evening sometime, drive home. And then Tuesday, I've got a doctor's appointment. Wednesday, I'm shooting shotguns with my dad. And then Thursday, I'm heading back up to upstate with my bunny rabbit, Dyrone and everything. And then we're gonna start grinding out hyperbolic time chamber between upstate and the cabin as far as January and February are concerned. And then February, we're gonna be doing some traveling to Spain and traveling to Maine. Do a little skiing, get a little hot weather in. Actually, Spain's kind of chilly, so it'll be nice. It's gonna be kind of like New York temperatures, so I'm gonna bring like sweatpants and jeans and stuff like that. And then after that, it's back in the hyperbolic time machine for the rest of March, maybe a little bit of April, we'll see. And then my birthday is in April, so probably finish up around my birthday. And that's all, That and that's the general plan, assuming that I don't get a job because I'm going to be applying to all these biopharmaceutical jobs and all of this, you know, fancy big money buku buck shit. And if one of those buku buck jobs hits, I mean, I'm, I'm all good with that. We'll see how far I get in all of the editing, but I already did the big long video where I talked about, you know, the 11 minute one is whatever, two days before this one or whatever, where I go like in depth into what all the editing stuff is. So I'm not going to like go into, you know, but it, you know, as long as I'm good with the documentary set up, right. I don't mind not being done with the projects individually and stuff. Cause I can always just, you know, group that all together, 
export that as one big raw file and then keep that for later for video editors and I can just send it to them and they can, you know, go with it and do whatever they want with that as far as video wise. So that's, you know, pretty much the rest of the year. I'll do a video tomorrow from either the mountain or the chairlift. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, New Year's Eve is going to be fun. Uh, since I didn't get the blood work done, I might hit the gym today because I was going yesterday. I did a little bit of arms and a little bit of boxing just because my shoulder was a little tight and I wanted to stretch it out and then just throw some punches and just get some blood flow in there, right? So today I might do so on the way out before I leave, do a nice little gym workout and get in a little pump and get some blood flow in there and uh. Yeah, but that's that's it. I am back at the, his house. So I will see you guys in the next little update vlog video. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Back with another morning video. So we are on the way to the mountain right now. Looks like it's a little cloudy out today. Hopefully it kind of brightens up a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we're going to get a little bit of shredding redding in this morning. It looks like there's... Uh, Definitely some people coming in today, but I've beat the long line of everybody uh, lining up in the morning, so that's kind of nice. It looks like they did get a little bit of snow. I don't think they're blowing. It looks like they're just... Oh, no, they are blowing. Oh, God damn it. All right, well, it looks like I might be trying my full mask helmet today because <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily want to be dealing with the uh, snow blowing all over me and it'd be nice to just like you know freaking seal, seal my shit up but that means I can't drink and if I'm in the snow blow guns it would be nice to get a little bit of my drink on well we'll see but anyway everything went great as far as yesterday you know, stinks whatever about the blood work, but managed to get up here and everything okay. Kind of sucks my skis weren't delivered yesterday. I ordered new skis. I was hoping to get them dropped off so I could get them drilled for bindings today. But unfortunately, that they didn't come in, which is, you know, whatever. It would have been nice, but that's about it. It would have been nice. It's not like the end of the world or anything. And it's crazy how, you know, driving up here for, uh, you know, to go skiing and looking at all these parking lots. And some of these parking lots in the past would be filled up by now if I was out here, you know, like to come shred. And like over here on the side of my right would be filled up. And instead it's just empty. And, you know, I know a lot of the reason is because there's no fucking snow. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's, I mean, we're skiing on dirt, bro. But, uh, huh. But anyway, point of today's uh, video is just kind of a short little check-in, a little uh, feel good. Uh, hope everybody else is feeling good. I almost made the wrong turn. I got to turn up at this one because what people don't know is that the sneaky best spot is you go around on the side like this, whoop, and then you go around the side like this. It's a triple force. And then we go up. And then sound effect man, turn on the left signal. La, 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 left, and then. And I am gonna park right here unless this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Alright, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm taking this spot. Let's go, baby. Alright, let's get. Alright, let's get all the gear on. Let's get treading, baby. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Smoke grass, eat ass. Be excellent to each other. Deuces. What's up, nerds? Happy New Year. Back with another video. I wanted to do one of these last videos to close out the new year, even though it is technically no longer December. And those videos were technically a December project, I guess. But it's my channel, my rules. I make them up. I get to do what the fuck I want. I say that... We're doing one last video for the end of the year. One last for the end of the year. Because the clouds are a little darker today, but there's also definitely more blue. So it's a good fucking morning, basically. 
and it's Monday, so there ain't gonna be nobody on the mountain, and uh, so I'm fucking, I'm, I'm a little hyper Reno, but anyway, thank you for making it this far, thank you for watching the little compilation, hopefully, uh, you know, my little experiment in, not necessarily mental health, but experiment just in, you know, consistency, I guess, uh, and we'll be keeping this going forward after this I'm going to be recording the first of the month video for January as well but yeah that was it just wanted to do a quick little close out thanks for watching thanks for uh you know hopefully you learned uh, got something away from this you know for me I'm looking forward to going back and re-watching and seeing how uh you know I talked about stuff and how I thought about things and how things progressed and etc and you know in the future I definitely want to do more journaling myself personally but until that point you know we'll stick with youtube blogs anyway that's all smoke grass eat ass thanks for watching be excellent to each other and deuces what's up nerds back with another video it is the first of the month i can't my voice is shredded a little bit not super shredded but they were playing they played so much pitbull at this fucking party last night and all these white girls were going crazy and I might drink a little more than I should tonight <laughs> and uh, I met it's funny I got to hang out and chill and smoke a bit with some of the lifties at Hunter that I was already talking to and it was funny he was like these people already like <laughs> we already had like a little bit of a rapport and they showed up and he's like Oh, this guy, nice to meet you, hey. I don't know why I made him kind of Mexican. He's Argentinian. But <laughs> he's just like, oh, oh, ski patrol guy. <laughs> I fucking, that killed me when he was like that. It fucking killed me. Because I was like, fuck yeah, bro, ski patrol guy. And uh, so Ignacio, sick dude. Diego, sick dudes. And had a fun pregame hangout bullshit session with them for new years then after that went to this like really nice hotel this like hundred plus year old hotel where they had all this fucking like crazy you know like it looked like a german bar with how like low-key and like wooden and like rustic or whatever it all was like really uh nice and the tickets were expensive and i would never go to like something like that ever so i only went because my friend was going and he invited me so i was like all right you know let's go check it out but uh not my scene for sure which was nice it was good interesting to you know because it's like it was like a the upper rich society of like a small town you know so it's like everybody knows each other and everybody knows like wh whose family owns this whose dad owns this who's the pizzeria guy who's the burger guy who's the you know the ski shop guy who's the club guy whatever but you know there's it's literally you know just like this small small crazy small town so everybody knows everybody else so it was like super interesting and to uh you know experience that and uh i just think next year for sure it was fun don't get me wrong but i want to party more with the j1s bro aka all of the hispanic kids that are here uh on their their version of summer break for us we're obviously in winter break but we're there on the other side of the continent so seasons are flipped uh but next time i definitely want to party with them i mean it was awesome hanging out with those guys and they were like full they were full on they were like i mean we were vibing bro and then i left them a little joint to take for the fucking ride back and they were like oh this guy and i was like yeah buddy so you know definitely want to try and party with them but it was a real great experience and i never like really go out for new year's so it was nice to go out for new year's you know once in a while but january who knows how the vlogs are gonna go because i'm gonna be traveling a little bit and doing mostly grinding out and stuff i'll be i'll probably still do the vlog these little vlogs like this but uh yeah no it was december was nice hope you watched the december vlogs and uh hopefully you uh like the january vlogs and uh yeah um if you can't tell by the shaky ass camera i just got to the fucking shitty parking lot that is like you know all bumps and mumps and everything so i gotta focus on driving through this shit all right smoke grass eat ass Ooh, get in reverse be excellent to each other and i will see you in the next video Deuces.